Good afternoon, this is Roger. I'm noticing that the GoPro is cutting me off at about five minutes. So pardon me if I'm speaking a little bit fast, a little quickly. The last time we uh, checked in on the 88 Super back here and I uh, showed that I had a couple different engines. This is engine number two. Somehow I just got super interested in it, started digging into it and it looks fantastic. So I'm now building this one. Um, so I just want to do a quick update on it. As you can see, it's super dirty. Everything's nice and loose and, and rolls really well. So uh, I've measured the cylinders. Everything looks, uh, I can't get all the way into it right now, but everything looks like it's pretty solid. So this is, uh, this is going to be the subject for a little bit at least. And um, so I just kind of wanted to give you an update. When we last spoke, the head was still on the uh, engine I pulled it and I took uh, so basically you take all the caps off and you take a look at them for these uh, for the other engine I actually bought five heads to try to find a good one this one good right out of the chute straight on the top straight on the bottom no scratches in the on the journals and the uh, any of the caps so it looks solid very usable did a little bit of cleanup. There was uh, carbon buildup and normal things for, for a head. So uh, got pretty motivated based on that. And the um, basically this one had a blown head gasket. That's the issue with these. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But so what I'm going to do is uh, the so what I have done real quickly is I took the rear main seal in the front. Uh, timing cover off all that's pretty straightforward uh, it's the water pump series of bolts it's the actual cover series of nuts and bolts some of this is like where the alternator mounts to the front and uh, I left those in just for reference so I could get back to them and um, so where we are now is I'm gonna pull the oil pump which this is the tube that everybody complains about you can see how it's a little bit flattened and crimped and it's kind of weird. I've got some stainless steel uh, line on the way and I'm going to replace this and then this is where you actually shim the oil pump. I've got 11 millimeter washers where once these things are out of the way, it, you can't really do this while it's in here because there's nowhere you're going to bend and you know all these are, you know, you don't want to have metal pieces flying around and stuff like that but you put the, uh, you back this out, there's a spring in there, you drop your washers in the bottom, tighten it back down. I use a little bit of thread locker. Uh, I like things that stay put back together. And so when I have the oil pump out of the way, next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling the uh, pistons out. And when you do this, I haven't seen a lot of reference in terms of uh, people saying this. I get a uh, little short piece of fuel line, so hose, and uh, when I pull these nuts off and pop this uh, cap off, the bearings are right on the inside here, and then I cover this because when you begin to back this out, you don't want these, basically it's a raw bolt, uh, scratching the journals on the way out. That is the definition of a finely machined surface. Uh, you also don't want it banging around and beating up the cylinder on the way out of the way. So I'm going to pull the pistons, pull the main caps off. Um, just a quick reference. Printed this bad boy out. Get the light off of it so you can see it. This is torquing. This is removing. When you torque it, they want you to start at the outside and work in. When you do the removal, start at the inside and work out. And so basically that's where we are at this point. As you can see, I've got a bunch of cleaning to do. Um, I'm gonna pull them out and actually re-hone, I'm, I'm gonna hone the cylinders because they're pretty glazed. And then um, actually put new rings on each one of the uh, pistons. Everything else looks like it's in good shape. It's gonna get new bearings on the main, uh, new bearings on the uh, rods, connecting rods. And uh, then we're going to come back. So that puts me at about five minutes. Thanks for checking it out. And have a good one.